Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Roman here. I'm back with another vlog. So I was so excited to know that there was an Indian grocery store just walking distance, like three minutes away from us. We went last night and then we got a bunch of the seasonings and stuff that we needed for our Indian food. Waiting for my Amazon package. It might have arrived already, but I got um, little spice containers they're really cute because today is my husband's birthday so it's Verinder's birthday today he is 32 he does not look 32 whatsoever we look the same age so i got this greek yogurt from target when we went um it's the kobani greek yogurt vanilla non-fat i think that's how you say kobani I hope this is good. Yeah, because today is Rinder's birthday, I want to bake him a cake. He loves chocolate cake. So I have most of the ingredients that I need for it. I got it like when we were shopping at Target. I'm surprised he didn't notice that I got like frosting and everything. So I have made cake from scratch twice. Once for my cousin, once for one of my friends. And everyone loved it. It's been a couple years probably since I've done that. Um, but back home, I had a KitchenAid mixer. So it was easy to do the frosting. And I don't have that. I don't want to go and spend money trying to get mixers just for a little bit of frosting. So I got the frosting. I didn't want to make that from scratch. But we're going to make the cake from scratch today. So what I need to do first is I need to go to Whole Foods and get some cocoa powder for the chocolate cake because that's the one thing I don't have and I think I have everything else that I need um, so I'm gonna do that quickly it's 12:42. Rinder's at work he's at the office today um, I hope he doesn't come home early so I have enough time to bake him a cake yeah this Greek here looks very like smooth I like the texture of it for sure so this is the Granola, the protein granola that I got. I wish I had blueberries. We went to Target and then he went to Whole Foods quickly to grab something. And they had no blueberries anywhere. But I usually add blueberries to this. First, let me take a bite of this actually on camera because I want to see how this tastes. The Greek yogurt's really, really good. It's like next level soft and smooth. Mmm. Wow. Let's see how this adventure in Seattle alone goes. I think this is my first time stepping out of the apartment alone without Verinder. Every, everywhere I've been going, I've been going with him just because I have no idea where anything is and I still don't know how to get back to our apartment even though we've gone out in and out so many times so this will be an adventure for sure uphill on the street to get back home. Sometimes there, there are days where I wouldn't even leave the house. So it's kind of nice like living in the city where you don't have a car and you have to walk everywhere. Or like we use the electric scooters. Like those are obviously not as active as walking. But oh my god, like I, I'm actually sweating. 
it was so close. It was like a nine, 10 minute walk from our place. But the fact that I was like going there was easy because it was like going downhill. It was like this, but coming back, that hill definitely was a good workout. So I got a few things. Got my blueberries, some unsalted butter, you know, for the rotis. I got this. Um, I love eating tofu, but um, they obviously don't have the same companies here that I'm used to. But I found this high protein tofu. It has 70 grams of protein in this one pack, which is a lot. Um, and this is a super firm. I don't like the soft tofu, so I got two of those. As I am literally sweating. Um, okay, and then I got some chia seeds. You already know I need these. They were expensive. I don't remember chia seeds being that expensive, but anyways, oregano. Need it for the pasta, as well as some nutritional yeast for pasta. I got some peas. I like to put these in my tofu. And then I got some pink salt. We use this for cooking at home, so I don't want to keep using just the white salt. So I picked up a pack of this. And then I got some garlic powder. They didn't have this at the Indian store when we went, so I got that. And then I got this... Um, Khalifa Farms Organic Almond Milk. So I saw a TikTok on uh, the Silk Almond Milk and like how it's pretty bad and I've been using that for God knows how long. I've used this company before just once but then I stopped getting it, it because I'm like, it's so expensive. But then the guys like this organic one is actually really good because if you read the ingredients, it literally only says water, organic elements and sea salt. So there's no other extra random ingredients in there. So, I mean, I'm excited to try this one out. I know it's a little bit more expensive, but I don't finish it that fast either. And then got the cocoa powder for the cake. I'm gonna put this stuff away and quickly get started on the cake because I don't wanna run out of time. It's already two o'clock. I wanna preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So I got these six inch cake pans like years ago because I wanted to make those like cute, small, tall cakes and I never ended up using it. And then I knew before I even left Canada that I wanted to make um, cake for Verna's birthday. Ooh, I like the way this butter comes. I'm not used to this. And these small little pieces, that's nice, I like that. And it has measurements, that's really cool. That's how it looks with the parchment paper underneath. It just makes it easier for when you take out the cake. I found this um, chocolate cake eggless recipe from this Indian YouTuber. I'm gonna put his name somewhere here. Um, but I changed it up a little bit because his serving size seemed a little bit small for me. And I, instead of doubling it, I just kind of made a small adjustment. So he had one and a half cup of flour for his entire cake, I want at least two cups to be able to make enough cake for the three pans. Um, so first I'm gonna start with some coffee. Funny thing, last night I was asking Render, um, I'm like, the coffee that's in your little mixer thing, like is it garbage or can it be used again? He's like, uh, why are you asking? I'm like, oh, I just, I'm just wondering. And then he's like, um, He's like, oh, you should, yeah, you should, um, I was like, yeah, I'm just going to clean it. He's like, yeah, yeah, you should drink coffee. And I don't ever drink coffee. 
and I said, no, 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 like I'm not gonna drink the coffee. I was just wondering because I wanted to clean it out. And now we'll know why I was asking them. But there's already some in here in this grinder. I need about one tablespoon. That's almost about one tablespoon. There's just a little bit less because I don't want to grind any more than what was already in there. So I took one cup of hot water. I'm just going to throw that in there and mix it together. That's mixed up. Now I'm going to take some of the cocoa powder. One cup of cocoa powder. has some yogurt in it I guess because it's eggless it probably gives it a nice texture so first I'm gonna start with this one So we already have this Indian style whole milk yogurt. Now it's starting to go, look a lot better. Before, I was kind of worried about the olive oil. Because he uses vegetable oil, not olive oil. Hopefully it turns out good with the... This might be a lot of cake. <laughs> now, now that I'm looking at it. Mm. Anyways, now I'm adding one. I like that this has this little thing that I can go like this with. One and a half teaspoon of um, baking powder. 
and then three-fourths of baking soda just a pinch of salt I'm gonna sift this I'm gonna use this rubber spatula and just fold it in and mix it I'm gonna use this just to mix it up a little bit more I just feel like it's too lumpy I think this many lumps should be fine I don't want to over mix it either because then it's not gonna turn out good Okay, so I learned this trick from this YouTuber. His name is Preppy Kitchen on YouTube. I've been watching his videos for God knows how long. But he uses these like cloth um, pan liners to make the cake surface at the top like completely flat. Okay, now it's nice and snug. It won't fall off and burn in the oven. This might be too much cake. <laughs> okay. So now that this is done, the cloth is on, I'm gonna try to as evenly as possible distribute this cake mixture. Let's try as Mmm, that's actually really good. And I taste the coffee flavor. He's gonna like this, he loves coffee. That's so good. Mmm. Doing this, so the bubbles go away. And it becomes more even. So like turning it just because my batter is a little bit thicker than the guy's recipe okay I'm gonna throw these in the oven to bake guys the cakes are done Okay, I feel like because I put too much of the mixture each, in each one, it didn't like fully come flat. But they're flat enough to the point where I don't think I need to cut them to decorate. I gave it about 10 minutes. I don't have enough time, so I'm gonna start decorating. I'm gonna keep it very simple. I don't know how this is gonna go. I honestly thought this um, frosting was gonna be white. It's more of like a creamy color. I guess it makes sense by the flavor. I'm doing more of like a crumb coat first since it's leaking through anyways. This is definitely not going to stay if I start to decorate. So I'm going to do a little bit of a crumb coat and then I'm going to put it in the fridge for a little bit. And hope that he doesn't come home at 5, which is in 20 minutes. Okay, I've used almost all of that and I haven't even finished decorating. I have no idea how this is going to work. I don't think I'm going to be able to decorate this cake properly. Such a cute size, so I really like these six inch pans. I'm gonna put this in the fridge and really hope that it gets a little better. Let's see, I'm gonna try and do a little bit of the blue. Why does it look like this? It looks kind of like. 
Okay, I just took that much for now. There's like nothing on here, but I'm gonna try to mix it in. Okay, that is starting to create like a nice sky blue color. Definitely seems more stable than it was before. like my floss that I use looks like that color okay before I add more let's even see if it <laughs> I made a little flower and actually it's sliding down should I make like a <laughs> like a sliding down effect Yo, this looks like Frankenstein cake. Does this not look like Frankenstein cake? You know when you plan things for too long and you think, oh, I'm gonna do this. Sometimes it just doesn't, <laughs> it just doesn't turn out like that, whatever. Oh, it's becoming like a little ombre effect. It's the thought that counts, right? Oh, it's terrible. It's just simple. And maybe if I had sprinkles, but I don't have those either. Crooked too. It's like going to the right side. Like I don't know if adding more frosting is helping in the situation at all. Guys, Brendan left work. He's gonna be here soon. I came up with a solution. I don't have anything else to decorate it, but I have granola, the protein one, and I have blueberries. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add those two to the top of the cake. Because I feel like it's blue, like no other decor is gonna decor, decor, whatever. No other like things would look nice on that. Do you call toppings? I meant to say toppings, not decor. Okay. Um, gotta wash these first. First, I'm gonna start with the granola. I feel like it would be easier to decorate with that and then add the blueberries in. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna add some at the bottom. Like right here. And it kind of looks like Cookie Monster. That's how the bottom's looking so far. Maybe I should add like a little bit more. It looks way better than it did when it was completely plain. Hey, cake. Yeah. Did your work people get you this? I got you cake on my birthday. Wow. That's so cute. Damn. Now okay. I'm going to help you eat your cake on my birthday. Okay. Can you feed me? That's just the frosting. I want the cake. Oh, more cake? Wait, did you make this? No, I got it from Whole Foods. Damn. That's what I was doing today. Oh, that's why you went. I was like, yeah. yo, she's probably went for And then I just, stuff. I'm like, yo, I wanted to, to look cute, so I put it in a plate. Yeah, that's pretty sick. I like yeah. it. 
It's like the blueberry thing, but it's yeah. like a chocolate cake. Yeah, it's safe. Huh? Nice, right? Yeah, I like it. Thanks, babe. Of course. Happy birthday.